Hello everyone and welcome to the third in a, a series of occasional videos about the activities of the EduServe Foundation in Second Life. This particular video is about how to use uh, voice, the voice features of the Second Life client. Uh, so to enable voice, go to your edit menu preferences uh, and then uh, click the voice uh, tab um, and enable voice and click OK. And it should be as simple as that, that's, that's all there is to it. How do you tell whether voice has been enabled? Well, there's, there's three ways really. Firstly, go to your communicate menu uh, and look at the near me tab. And if you just wait for a few seconds, it should say connecting to uh, voice chat and then connected. So that's the first way. Second way is to look for a little white dot above your head. Um, not particularly clear what this does at the moment, but it will animate once you start uh, talking, once your voice becomes active, that little white dot will uh, activate. Thirdly, there's a, a new tab down the bottom right of your Second Life client. So click on the talk button, click and hold the talk button uh, if you want to talk and you'll see that the little white dot starts animating. And in my case, the avatar starts moving as well. Uh, if you don't like the click and hold, you, there's a little lock button there so you can just click on that and it's permanently held down then carry on talking uh, uh, as much as you want and to uh, click on it again to, to remove the lock feature. So that's how you actually uh, talk. This other part of the tab here gives you a list of active speakers and you'll note, I mean at the moment there's only one listed because I'm on my own, but you'll note a little green dot next to each of the active speakers. Now then, um, you noticed that while I was talking, my avatar was animated. How do you do that? Well, if you go to your inventory, scroll down to the bottom, look in the library, and what you're looking for is gestures. <clears throat> so open that up and look for speech gestures, um, and you'll see in there there's a whole range of gestures. You don't need to bother opening that tab, just uh, that folder, just drag the whole folder onto yourself, and that will enable those anim animations. Now, Sometimes voice doesn't work. It might not work because of firewall problems, in which case you won't get that connected uh, message coming up in the communication uh, menu. Um, but you might also need to mess with your microphone and speaker settings. So if you go back and run the wizard, uh, go back in the edit preferences and run the wizard uh, and just click through. Most of the defaults work all right, but on this one you notice you can um, explicitly select which microphone you're using, which input device you're using, which output device you're using. And again, click OK to, to, to get that all working. And then a final thing, you can play with the relative volumes of different features of the Second Life client. So if you find voice is too loud or not loud enough, um, click on the little icon, the little speaker icon at the bottom right of the client, and uh, you'll uh, then have a way of setting the relative volumes of all those different features. And that's about it. So thank you very much for listening. Bye.